I, I. It's the latest pretentious thing I've done in a long time. I can't see you guys, so it helps. <laughs> I've been asked to talk about me, which is again another pretentious thing to do for somebody who makes living out of doing pretentious things. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm an actor from Kerala, and I was wondering why I've been called to Mangalore for an event. But you guys are close to Kerala, so <laughs> I get it. Anyway, so um, it might sound silly, but it all started with a simple Facebook request because in terms of this acting career thing, I did an interview with this friend of mine called Neha Nair, and I used to have a band and I used to be a metalhead and still a metalhead, but you know, figured a way to do music and do what we like and go around India and, and do something original. Which, which happened for three years throughout my college. And at the end of the third year, we had the finals of uh, Campus Rock Idols. And uh, the judges, one of the dudes who are helping out with Channel V and MTV, I don't want to take names. This guy is like, hey, guys, keep playing music, but go corporate. So uh, that sort of made my life or killed my life, because I still remember it, you know. But it was a great quote, and it's always stayed with me. And I saw what happened with music, or what could happen with me trying to embrace music and go ahead with that career. Because it's an expensive thing to have a band in, at least at that time. I mean, I, I'm sure it still is. Anyway, so thank God this Srinath Basi thing happened, and because <laughs> I can't go for any other work, and I don't know what I would have done. Because ever since I was a little kid, I always wanted to influence people. I, I wanted to uh, do something that people could resonate with. And, and it was great that I got to do different roles in, in Malayalam cinema. So yeah, it started with a simple audition because I sent this Facebook friend request to this particular director because this girl did our interview and I was basically stalking her pictures on Facebook, you know. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, so keep sending friend requests. That's the... <laughs> no, no, uh, I, I can give you a lot of silly examples like this because my life has been um, consequences of, of instinctive actions like this. For example, I made a small song in, in a college auditorium just like this with a friend and it was the corniest thing that we could find and it was called I Love You My Panchasara and all that. <laughs> yeah, see? Still got the hype. <laughs> man, I've never been so hyped up about speaking for 10 minutes. You have no idea. My, all my people close to me have been telling me, like, what are you going to speak? <laughs> anyway, so I'll come back to the song. So what we did was we were just trying to have fun. And we came up with the song, and the song has been an important thing in my life because I just went to Kalamandalam a couple of days back in, um, in Kerala. Kalamandalam is one of our oldest art schools in Kerala. And uh, we were there, and yeah, man, I sang My Love in Kalamandalam, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, 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 boss. <laughs> anyway, so what I'm trying to say is, have fun, like loads of fun, because your creativity is at its peak when you're having fun and you'll end up making something really great. Especially when we do uh, comedy stuff in, in movies, we make sure that we bring out our best self to the set. Like the, b the basic idea is to come to the set, you know, without any other baggages on yourself. And we try to be happy and we get to be creative. And that's exactly what happened with me in college. Because these small, small things that I've been doing throughout my life, it sort of started having meaning as I started growing up. Even though I was losing music, even though I, was, I couldn't be on stage and, and hear people sing the songs that I've written, it was great that I could be part of a culture, a part of uh, the cinemas, and I could influence people in another way. Anyway, what I'm trying to say here is basically, to chase your dreams even if you don't see anything, man. Like I always had this thing in my head about this, this road with no light and it's just my bike and the headlight. And there's a distance to which your headlight can go. And that's the, 
that's all you can see. So I'm trying to go reach that distance, and I'm sure when I reach that distance, I'll get the next light for the distance that I have to go further. So I'm not trying to say that I'm the king of free economics and things have been going great in my life and law of attraction and all that, but no. <laughs> you have to do your part. <clears throat> your part as in what you really like. You have to chase it, you have to go for it, you have to be really patient. That's what I learned, because I read the... I read my bio, which is outside, right under the picture. It's one of my favorite things to do, to see what people think about me or write about me. It says, <laughs> it's really funny. Anyway, so it's like the friend of the hero, or you know, it's, it's, it's tr they're trying to be nice, and it's a really good thing to write. I've tried to tell this to radio people and, and people who do who promotions for us and interviews for us, is to, is to tag somebody and make somebody look like someone else, or, or because of the roles that you've done or because of the kind of person you are. It's because of social media and the perception of this image, this perceived image that somebody has about you tries to, tries to mess with your head, which was, which was another fun thing to deal with because, you know, I'm a normal guy and suddenly Srinath Basi happens and it was nice to see everything around me change, but there was not much of a change in me. So it was, the struggle was to take that as part of the job, to grow up, basically. So I had to fight my own struggles, right? I had to be patient with, with the roles that I do. I had, to be, I had to be like nice with it, can't lose my cool with it. Like, you know, because everything is close now. Everything is like that now. You want to go out, you want to get things done, you want food, it's like that now. But seven or eight years trying to do this stuff, it's, it's really nice to like go for the long run. So, I mean, I don't have to tell that to doctors. I'm sure your course is five years, for God's sake. <laughs> so, yeah. So, exactly. And I just played a doctor role in this movie called Virus. <laughs> not going to talk about what people spoke about me before that. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> because it's, again, perceived, perceived um, you know, they're trying to perceive you and they're trying to understand you and that's it. So I get that. But it's important to be patient and wait for good things to come your way and do it and not lose heart. And I learned that from a bunch of doctors when I did this movie called Virus. It was great to have two people tell me what nystagmus means. <laughs> and somebody was like, Riger. And I said, no, it's rigor. It's rigor mortis, man. <laughs> I know that Kendrick Lamar song, so don't mess with me. Like. So yeah, so it's all these influences that any human being can get throughout his life. It's, it's music, it's popular culture, it's internet, and it's the beautiful people around you. So keep everything happy, chase your dreams, and, and go ahead with all this randomness that you have in life because we are all trying to bring meaning to this stuff. So have fun with it and do what you like, man. So thank you. Thanks a lot for having me. Bye. Mm hmm.